very last section in chapter 16 deals with Lewis acids. Um, so this is just another acid-based definition. So in the beginning of the chapter, we said that acids were species that donate protons. So if an acid donates protons, it accepts electrons. So a Lewis acid is something that accepts electrons. Accepts electrons. It's an electron acceptor. And a base would be an electron donor. So it's something that donates electrons. Donates electrons. So instead of talking about protons, um, if you donate a proton, you accept an electron. If you accept a, a, a proton, you donate an electron. Um, so this is just pushing electrons around. And this is these are the definitions you're going to use more in um, organic chemistry. So Lewis acid is something that has an empty valence orbital. So, so it has an empty, it, it can take on more electrons, pretty much. That's what it's saying. So down here, um, a base, a Lewis base is something that has extra electrons to donate. So here you have this lone pair of electrons. It's going to donate over here to the, the boron. Remember, boron was electron deficient when we, we drew Lewis structures in chapter 8. It can take on more electrons. Um, and so it's going to accept electrons here. That nitrogen is going to donate electrons. And, um, and then that's your base. And, and this is your Lewis acid. Some, some other things that make good Lewis bases, you'll see those. Um, those bases are things like the hydroxide ion has all these uh, extra electrons that makes a good Lewis base. Um, water, cyanide, all those things. We'll see those again in chapter 17. We'll start looking at some some Lewis bases. Um, yeah. So what makes a good Lewis acid? It's another acid that we can draw. There's something that has um, extra electrons. So if we had uh, yeah, something like I'm sorry, not, it doesn't have extra electrons. It has this double bond. So something that has a double bond um, will uh, you can take on extra electrons. So things that are electron deficient tend to be good Lewis acids.